What is up RC enthusiasts? Look what we have. Something that shows the Pinecone model logo on it. It's a small 128 scale crawler. Comes in this color right here. And also this color right here. And that's the color I have. As you can tell right there it says body metal texture of material. Yes, that green part right there is metal. And that top wrap and the roof is plastic. But this is a metal body. All the doors open and close. Hood opens as well with your faux engine sitting in there which is pretty cool. And this thing is full crawler status at the bottom. Lock differentials, gearbox attached to axles. So you know, it's pretty legit looking. And the size is pretty cool. So let's check it out. Here's your roof rack and its accessories right here. You have traction boards, gas and water cans, storage compartments, little pelican cases it looks like up front. And you have your roof ladder for the rear right there. Stickers that come with the kit. And a double sided tape right there for your battery so you can attach it to the rear without it flopping around everywhere. You can tell right here 2-in-1 ESC combo doesn't seem to be water resistant. But we can always plastic dip that so we can play in some water if we want to. Now this thing is mainly bushings, so that way water runs will be easier for maintenance. And here's your LED boards right here for your reverse turn signal and tail light. And up front you have your LED boards for your headlight turn signal combination. You have a three wired servo sitting up there. And you can see the three wires sitting right here. So it's a standard three wire servo. As you can tell right there, plugged into the board. So yeah, cool little kit right here. You know, fully interiored out, metal body, and it's a sweet little rig, man. It's a tiny little guy. Let's check out this motor setup right here. Now it's mounted to the body right here, or to the frame right here, and to the bottom of this tray right here that I'm holding as well. So there's a mount right there, so you can see those prongs sticking out. It mounts to that, and it mounts to that. And it's just slotted into this piece right here. So yeah, motor slots into there, right there. And then it splits into the rear drive shaft going to the rear axle and into the front drive shaft going to the front axle. Pretty cool little setup, guys. Pretty amazing for a little 128 scale little guy. It's a lot of detail and a lot of assembly to make this guy. I like it. <laughs> All right, this guy has a little cool feature. If you hold the steering wheel on the controller all the way to the left for five seconds, you're gonna get your, what they call your high beams, which is just your little running lights on the side right there. Hold it to the left for five seconds again and it turns it off. And then hold it to the right for five seconds and you can turn on your hazards. There you go. Then hold it to the right for another five seconds and turn it off. All right, now this thing's fully proportional, throttle and steering. So let's go ahead and let's hit up this trail. There it goes. As you can tell, tail heavy because the battery and electronics are all sitting in the back. So yeah, pretty tough trail for this guy. We're going to go ahead and skip ahead to some other obstacles. Can this guy make it up this? As you can tell, a little too much for this little guy. So I went ahead and bumped him up. 
And there you go. It's smooth, but it's a heavy guy for sure. More for indoor crawling on your desk or something, or put some wheel weights on it maybe. <laughs> sure likes to stand up, doesn't it? Let's just take a different line. Oh, not enough power. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, so this little guy struggles a little bit. Not enough power. Kind of have to full throttle it to bump it up with things, but. Gosh, being so tail heavy definitely doesn't help on this uphill climb. Let's see if we can take a different route. Maybe go through here without rolling it sideways. See? Alright RC truck, at least do this obstacle, come on. Nope. So now let's go ahead and let's tackle this uphill. I'm highly doubting it's going to do it, but let's give it a try. There, as you can tell, <laughs> it's just too steep. And I'm glad I have this heavy rig with me out here today because you guys can tell how steep this climb I normally do. So, yeah, it is too steep for this guy, too back heavy. Maybe you could lower it a little bit to lower the center of gravity, add some wheel weights maybe. But for now, since it's tail heavy, let's go down this hill and let's see how it performs downhill. Yeah, power through. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Reset. <laughs> now I do have 20 BBs in the front tires to try to compensate for the rear heaviness but I guess it's not enough and it kind of bulges the tires because there's not enough room in those beadlock wheels to put BBs in. So maybe like a lead weight or something will be better, some solder. Oh! Oh. Well, there you go, guys. It's time for it to go home. Thanks for watching as usual, guys. And as always, stay safe out there, have some fun, and go run that RC.